Right, it's a lovely June day. I'm here with Dan. Say hello, Dan. Hello. <laughs> and we're here, we're doing an MV test. So we're blood sampling uh, some sheep for a disease called Mighty Visner, or MV for short. Um, Chris, the farmer, is actually away today. He works a full-time job, like a lot of farmers. <laughs> um, but these are, there'll be a mix of clins and berichon, won't there? Yeah. So clins, uh, yeah, which clins. mainly clins, and some berichon du cher, which maybe we'll talk about a bit more later. But basically, we get a representative sample. We blood sample them, samples go off to the lab, and they check for any positives. So we'll see how we get on, we'll crack on, not waste any time, and it's a lovely day. So let's get into it. So some of you might not know what MV is. Essentially, it's a, it's a viral disease of sheep and when they get it it has a long incubation period so there's a long time that generally there are no signs but over time they're far more likely to get mastitis to go barren to have fewer lambs than they otherwise would and it generally presents as a thin wasting sheep so as it builds up in the flock you get lower scanning percentages you're having to cull more ewes because they're going skinny, however well you're treating them. So there's a growing demand for MV accredited stock, especially MV accredited tups that are tested annually on a basis like this to give buyers some degree of security that the stock they're buying are free of MV. This is just a routine test. So we're not expecting to find any positives, but if there were some, they'd be cold and there'd be a slightly more intensive testing regime put into place until the status was regained. Oh, okay. My tups are always... That's the tops done. Dan's just getting the uh, use in there. They're not behaving now, I've got the camera on them. That is the Berichons done. So like I said there, that sort of more narrow, narrow face, narrow bodied terminal top, bit like, I mean, they've got that pink skin, you recognize them there. And the idea is that they eat more easily lambed because they've got that more torpedo shaped rather than big, heavy, thick block set that a lot of terminal breed lambs have.
1971. So you guys will have seen me use these blood tubes before and they're pretty much exactly the same as medics, human medics would use. So they're called vacutainers and essentially these tubes are made in such a way that within the tube is under slight negative pressure. That means when I attach a needle to my little holder, stick the tube in there, because that has a needle on that side, When I pierce that tube with the needle on this side and I'm in the blood vessel, the tube sucks in the blood from the sheep and makes the whole thing a lot quicker, a lot less stressful. Because if we were waiting to fill this tube under the normal sheep's blood pressure, we'd be there for minutes and minutes. So, pretty clever unless, like me, you blow the occasional one. So that's where you come out before you've got your blood and you lose your vacuum so the air is sucked out through that needle into the tube and you hear a hiss and then you have to change your tube. So normally we'd have students with us every spring and every autumn and because of Covid we haven't had them. It's just not, it's just not practical to have guys in the car or at the office where obviously we come into close contact with each other. It's on days like this when I really miss them because all this gubbins, the paperwork, they're getting fresh needles students are really really good at that and also it's a great opportunity for them to bleed some sheep if we're doing over 100 they'll get a good chunk as well so hopefully we're having students back in august students if you're watching i'm looking forward to having you back <laughs> right that's us done i think that was about three hours or so which i thought was quite a good three hours work 110 110 sheep sampled we had 109 well Dan actually had 110 in the pen and I let one through right at the very start so we had to go and catch another which is uh that was okay wasn't it a bit of exercise uh and that was well relatively painless oh apart from Dan whose hand I stabbed but have a look at your hand Dan there you go <laughs> nobody likes a prick <laughs> especially not me uh but good and that's basically what we've got to do those samples get sent off to it's SAC or SRUC um, which is a lab um, these particular ones will go to the lab in St Boswells which is just over the border in Scotland because that's where they run the premium sheep and goat health schemes um, same place same people who run the premium cattle health scheme they'll test the samples they'll there's a few things that they set rules on biosecurity etc we check they've been signed off and once they're happy they say the status is retained these guys can go on Farming in the knowledge that they haven't introduced MV in the last couple of years and also giving security to the guys they are selling tups to that they are clear of MV. As I said, if there's some positives to deal with that, but touch wood, that should be a you know, straightforward test. Um, that'll be it for another two years. Easy peasy. Over and out.